So my hair is dry and frizzy because I didn't put a head wrap on it. I just twisted it in, actually not even four, but three twists. I did it after I, after I was in the bed too. I got to where I just take a few clips to bed with me. And in the event that I get super lazy, in the very likely event that I get super lazy, I'll just go on and go to bed. And while I'm in the bed, I'll grab, I'll blindly grab four sections, twist it up like so, literally, and pin it up. And then I'll put a wrap on all of it. I twisted it up, but I didn't have the wrap by the bed, or I didn't know where it was, and I didn't want to turn on a light and wake Mr. up. And I just didn't feel like looking for it. And nor did I feel like getting up and putting a scarf on just didn't feel like it. So here we have a big frizzy nappy mess that I'm fine with. Yeah, here we go. Yep, the ends are pretty nappy. <clears throat> so when I twist it up tonight, I clearly need to make sure I twist the ends up very well because well, you know how they act. I'll just put a headband on like I always do. Or should I go for the whole head wrap? I think I'm just going to do a headband because... Or maybe I'll do a headband head, head wrap as the band. And then when I get ready to put it all up for our workout, then we'll do that. I tell you, I am now eligible for one of those gray hair forums. <laughs> but I'll wait until I book a gig. If I book a gig ever, I'm too old to hold my breath for it and old enough to acknowledge that I sat on my ass sometimes where I should have went and audition. But I just be feeling like, you know, people recognize your talent or they don't, and if they don't, I ain't mad, but I ain't, I ain't pressed. I'm not pressed. I'm not pressed. Amongst my mistakes in terms of career has been, there have been a couple of directors who I auditioned for, and they weren't uh, very interested in me. I nailed most of those auditions, and I knew I did when I went. A couple of them, actually you'd be surprised, a couple of the ones where I, that I was sketchy about are the ones I landed. And uh, there was someone I re that I really nailed. Not only did I, and I'm not just feeling myself, not only did I nail them, when I saw the final product, um, I was like, they really, the project would have really benefited from casting me. <laughs> And that's not even shade on, on the actor that got the parts that I was uh, auditioning for. Well, in a couple of those cases, it is shade. It's not shade directly on that per that per the actor that beat me out. It's shade to the director that cast him instead of me and regretted it afterwards, child. Because they be regretting it. Well, sometimes they regret it because they find... Well, in that particular case, it's the only time that happened. This was a really awesome... This is an awesome <laughs> story its own video so i'll leave that for its own video my audition efforts for my audition fails in particular yeah my audition fails okay but yeah here we go with bushel of hair i'm gonna put on an outfit that i can squeeze into because i am back to squeezing girl that's okay we on the way matter of fact last night i was gonna make some cookies and i was also gonna make them some brownies but I pumped my own brakes because I made a conscious effort when I went to the store, although I obviously got all that junk too. But to be fair to myself, I made a conscious effort and got some. I usually get the black seedless grapes. Um, don't come for me, raw extremists, okay? Because I know y'all say people things with no seeds uh, are not real fruits and vegetables. So don't, don't bring that extremist shit over here. And it, it, even if it's, it might be true, because nothing, question everything and nothing is impossible. But everything could be a lie. But anyway, I forgot what I was just talking about. Oh, squeezing into my shit. Yeah. So I'm going to find something cute. Take some clothes out of the dryer. Find something cute. Take some clothes out of the dryer first. Find something cute. Brush my teeth. Slap on some eyes and lips. We're going to have a chicken alfredo pizza. Because Mr. is a pizza holic. That's his favorite food. But we, um, I'm trying to combine his love for pizza with his body's hate for acidicity. Acidicity? I think that's a word. Which includes the tomato. 
uh, for, especially fresh tomato sauce, but tomato sauce in general, and since pizza has tomato sauce, and it doesn't aggravate him really, but if he has pizza every day for several days, then he's going to have a problem. We never have pizza every day for several days, but whether we do or don't, I want to make a conscious effort as a good, as a good best friend and let him enjoy his favorite food on the weekend while not aggravating uh, our old buddy Gerd because he is not to be played with. So, here we go. Oh, it's not bad. It fell okay. My naps fell okay. It fell all right. Okay, I'm here for it. So let me take this clothes out of the dryer, empty space off of my iPad so that I can record tonight's workout session. Be cute. Get cute so I can be cute before the workout session. A wardrobe and makeup for tomorrow. That's what I was supposed to, that's one of the things I was supposed to have been doing. Is start, you know, doing the vanity thing and setting everything up for the following day. I actually wanted to do it for a week at a time. A week at a time. I'm gonna write that down. Set up makeup, vanity, that's wardrobe, MUA. Yeah. Let me just organize to where I do everything on a schedule. Vanity wardrobe anywhere. Close out of the dryer, fold them, put another load in, a vacuum it perhaps, do some dusting, empty the dishwasher, fill the dishwasher, finish cleaning the kitchen and the cabinets, then it's pocket. I need to clean up this bathroom. I need to clean up Mr.'s bathroom. I need to post on Instagram. I want to post on Instagram because I have been conscious of working to be more regular. Wish I would have dove in long ago, but you know, live and learn. That applies to old people too. In this day and age, it's the only way, way you're going to touch any significant number of lives outside of your own uh, immediate family. Uh, I wanted to tell you guys, that's why I brought it in, in here. And we got, uh, we decided to taste a few more flavors. We tasted vanilla caramel. We did not taste banana cream because um, in his in his middle age, Mr.'s body doesn't do well with bananas. And I think it's genetic because I think I've heard other members of his family talk about how they can eat bananas, but they have to eat it at a certain ripeness. It either has to be overripe. It can't, can't, definitely can't be underripe, but it had to be towards the overripe, you know, at the perfect ripeness or else it'll mess with them. And so that leads me to believe that if y'all have to go through all that and as quickly as bananas morph from green to overripe, y'all literally have to pick the perfect day to eat that banana. And if you have to go through all that research and history just to find out when you can eat a banana, then you just put the banana on the list of shit you can't have. <laughs> Just, just keep putting on the list of shit you can't have. You can't have bananas. And that's fine because I like bananas, but they mostly were just a, a regular ingredient when I was making more smoothies. And now I'm, I'm doing more green juicing than I am smoothie, smoothies. And even when I want a fruit, and the smoothies were mostly the, the sweeter rendition of our juices anyway so which has been quickly and most cop most and most often replaced with yamit juice that is made with the juicer as well so uh there's no really need for the banana as a ingredient for the smoothies because i don't have them too much i stopped getting uh avocados uh every every shopping trip for that reason because they're three for five damn dollars and you know how many of the avocados i end up eating mostly zero mostly zero and i tried a couple of times to be conscious to return the old uh, to buy some new ones and then go back with the receipt and return the old ones like they were the new ones but it was doing too much and that's how they get you that's how they make money they know they know you don't feel like coming back and returning that shit and you're gonna buy it again the next time you come grocery shopping and i i was on some okie doke they know it they have us conditioned so yeah, I did that. So I would probably wasted a good forty dollars in avocados before I just stopped buying them. Again, I waste a good eight dollars in uh, pineapples almost every time. Well, fifty percent of the time that I buy them because that's what I make my yamet juice with. I'm going to start drinking the yamet juice a lot more in place of my calorie wasting sugars um, and fats and carbs that I usually have. So I'm going to do better about that. I have some yammy juice in the freezer right now, but I only have one bottle, so that means I need to make more. Usually with each batch, I make about, it. each batch makes about six bottles. So, uh, and those bottles can carry us through the week. I usually have Mr. Take One to Work, the yammy juice slushy. And I do the same thing. If I'm um, working, I'll take the bottle with me. If I'm not, I will just take it out and put it out on the counter. And, you know, in a few hours, it'll be loose enough to shake and make into a slushy, you know. You know, because they're, fr they're frozen when he takes them out of the freezer so about two o'clock it's usually thawed enough where he can shake it up and, and make a slut and drink a slushy <clears throat> as mentioned 
it tastes like orange sherbet. It is delicious. So, you have that. But let me get these clothes out of these dry right now, for now. <laughs>